In this question, we're asked to determine whether several compounds are covalent or ionic. Before we do that, we do need to talk a little bit about the periodic table. And in several of these videos where you've been asked about chemistry, I'm largely skipping the theory, because you will get that in the lecture course, and skipping right to how to actually um, solve the problem. So ionic compounds, generally speaking, occur between a metal and one or more non-metals while covalent compounds occur between two or more non-metals. So it's very important that we're able to identify on a periodic table where are the metals and where are the non-metals. Approximately 75% of the atoms are metals, and it's everything on the left-hand side of the periodic table that isn't touching this bolded line on two sides. So everything over here is a metal, with one notable exception, hydrogen. Hydrogen is a non-metal. Remember, ionic compounds, generally speaking, occur between a metal and one or more non-metals. Sh I should note that there are uh, positively charged polyatomic ions which can form ionic compounds, but I don't believe any of those are on Alex, and you will learn about those later. Everything touching this bolded line on two sides such as boron and silicon and germanium and arsenic and antimony and tellurium and polonium are considered to be metalloids. So these are your metalloids. The exception is aluminum. And aluminum is a metal. You can think of an aluminum can or aluminum foil. These both look very shiny and metallic. So the aluminum is considered a metal, but everything else touching this bolded line is a metalloid. And then everything over here on the periodic table on the right-hand side are your non-metals. So again, ionic compounds occur between a metal and an one or more non-metals, and covalent compounds occur between two or more non-metals. A couple of exceptions again, hydrogen is a non-metal even though it's on the left-hand side of the periodic table, and aluminum is a metal even though it's touching this bolded line on two sides. So that will now allow us to answer this question. So now looking at this question, it wants to know if whether each of these compounds is ionic or covalent. The first one we have is AlF3. We just said aluminum is a metal, so this is an ionic compound. The next one is HI. Um, HI is two covalent uh, is a covalent compound because it's two nonmetals, hydrogen and iodine. So this is molecular, or covalent is another word for molecular. Bi3. Uh, boron is a metalloid, and we consider it here as a nonmetal, so this is going to be a molecular compound.